We are doing exercise 7a and in this video I'll be answering question 4e which says for y equals f of x equals x squared sketch the graph of each of the following labeling axis intercepts. So we have y equals f of x plus 1 and as you can see I've broken this down into a few steps. We'll first find our newly transformed rule then we'll find our x-intercept, then our y-intercept, and then we'll give it a sketch. And as you can already see, I have sketched in y equals x squared, because that is what we have originally been given. And now we're going to do something to it, which is going to transform where it's going to exist on my graph. So let's begin. We have y equals f of x equals x squared. We are then told that y equals f of x plus 1 so y equals f of x whoops, plus 1. So that means that here I had x and I had an x here. So if I have an x plus 1, I'm going to be putting that into my x spot. So I have x plus 1 squared. Which means I'll be trying to sketch y equals x plus 1 squared. Now, hopefully you immediately recognize that this plus one here, which exists within inside my brackets, is going to be shifting my graph one unit in the negative x direction. So I'm going to take my graph and I'm going to move it one unit in the negative x direction. So it's going to be there. So no longer do I have y equals x squares, it's x squared. I have changed it. I now have this right here. All right. Perfect. Now, let us find our x-intercept. So our x-intercept, we will begin by writing down what we know, which is y equals x plus 1 squared. We will then let y equal 0 to find the x-intercept. So I'm going to get rid of that y and put a 0 there. I will then rearrange to find what my x will equal. I'm going to begin by square rooting both sides. The square root of 0 is 0. So I'm going to be left with this. I will then minus 1 from both sides. So I'll get minus 1 equals x. So this right here will be negative 1, 0. Next I need to find what my y-intercept will be. So I begin by writing down what I know, which is y equals x plus 1 squared. I will then let x equal 0 to find my y-intercept, which will leave me with y equals, well 0 plus 1 is 1 and 1 squared is 1. So that means my y-intercept will be y equals 1, which is right here. So it will be 0, 1. So we have found our y-intercept, we have found our x-intercept, and we have found our newly transformed rule and given it a sketch. Hopefully this was helpful in answering question 4e of exercise 7a.